This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Samuels versus Langford. You all have been together for 17 years. You've been engaged for 12 years. And Mr. Samuels, what you've seen over the last year or so has made you concerned about whether this relationship can even go forward. Is that right? Absolutely. All right, you've initiated this case today. Tell us why. I believe that for the past year that uh, Missy's been cheating on me. Um, things ain't the same at home. She's being secretive, kind of. You know, she, she goes to the store, she's gone for a while, and our household is, uh, is kind of on the line with this because if she's cheating on me, you know, I'm, I'm ready to sell the house. I'm ready to walk away from her. You know, I've, I've resorted. I don't, I don't sleep in the house anymore. I sleep in the, uh, I sleep in the garage on an air mattress. There's, there's a big age difference between us, uh, 12 years. And so, you know, it's like when we were younger and got together, I told her that, uh, you know, as time gets on, I get older, you know, uh, she might get kind of tired of me because I'm getting to be an old guy. And I feel like that, uh, you know, today might be that day. All right, and so uh, you all have been together for a long time, but if the results of today's proceeding determine that she's cheating, you're going to throw it all away? I am throwing it all away. Wow. Well, There's a lot of resolve there, but it seems like it's a lot of hurt. How yeah. are you feeling? I just feel, I feel hurt. I feel, uh, I feel like everything that we've worked for is just thrown out the window. I feel like if she's cheated, why should I carry on anything? Well, Ms. Langford, what are you here to prove today? I'm here to prove that I did not cheat. Um, he has done nothing but tell me I'm a liar, I'm a cheater. Um, I just want my family back to the way it used to be, back to normal. And it's just breaking us. <sighs> so it, it's something really at risk here. For the last year or so, you've had some concerns. What were the warning signs? More or less uh, her phone activity, things on her phone that says, uh, like there's certain parts in her phone uh, in her settings that you can see uh, uh, how much megabytes things use. And her uh, uninstalled apps was real high on the, on the list. She kind of became a little distance from me. Conversations like on Facebook kind of thing, uh, there's a secret conversation area. I turn it off on her phone. I get in it a couple days later, it's turned on. Uh, she, she had up to, uh, you know, she's got a few Facebooks. But she, she has more than one page or identity on yeah. social media? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's going on on your phone? Why do you have all these apps and secret apps and secret, secret conversations? conversations? Uninstalled apps. And... Uninstalled. <laughs> what is that? Why is that? Well, the apps, um, I have a baby. She likes to play games on my phone. So she will download her games. Um, the storage gets kind of full, so I delete her apps. He has also put apps on my phone that I've had to delete. Um, well, okay, <laughs> that's, and that's sort of an explanation, but I've been watching, looking at you, looking at Mr. Samuels. Have you noticed how nervous he is? I mean, he's <laughs> rubbing his hands, he's gripping, I mean, literally gripping that podium. Do you see how whatever is going on in your world is affecting him? Oh, yeah, it's affecting everybody. And you see this? Oh, yes. Yeah. And you know what he's accusing you of. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you cheating on Mr. Samuel? No, I'm not. Are you absolutely sure? I'm 100% sure. I have lived this for a whole year. This is nothing. I've completely did away with my entire life. I think of nothing but this. I've been fired from my job. I've, been, I've neglected my kids, my household. I do nothing but try and catch her cheating. This is just kind of taking over here. your life. You're consumed by I'm consumed it. Consumed 100%. I'm and positive she's cheating on me. So, given that you've spent the year and have been consumed by it, what have you found that makes you believe this? I have, uh, I've, I've recorded her. I've got, I've put recorders in my cars, her cars. I've put recorders in my house. I've put recorders in my garage. Have you picked uh, up anything with these absolutely. recorders? Absolutely. What have you absolutely. picked up? I've picked up uh, several times another man being in a truck with her, uh, sexual activities in the truck. How did you know it was sexual I activity? I've been with her for 17 years. I know what she sounds like. Oh. oh. You know? So, Mr. Samuels, how did you record her? How did you catch her? What, what got me going on most of it was this one day, I had come home from work, I believe, on lunch, and she had to go to the doctor in physical therapy. So we part ways. I didn't dawn on me then. A coworker that was working with me had, uh, had left for the same amount of time. 
And so I get back home and uh, you know, I, I got cameras around my house too. I check my cameras and uh, I see that some of, the, some of the timings may not be working out right. And so I, I get her phone and I go into her uh, timeline of, uh, on your maps and the times that she's telling me she's at uh, physical therapy, her map timelines is telling me she's down here in a hotel. And so... And you see this in her phone? Yeah, I see it in her phone. Because you're tracking where she's going. I'm figuring out where she's going. Ms. Langford, please tell me they're not doing physical therapy at a no. hotel. <laughs> well... <laughs> she was in physical therapy, all right. Mr. Cullen, there's all kinds of physical therapy going on at hotels, <laughs> but not the kind we're thinking about. It, it, did, it did show up on my timeline, my Google timeline, that I was at that location. Before I went to physical therapy... The hotel? Ther yes. Okay. Before I went to physical therapy, I had a few errands to run. So I drove past this hotel to get on the expressway. Okay, your phone will pick up Wi-Fi signals from businesses around. When you're driving by, they try to pick up that signal. True. So I believe my phone had picked up that signal as I was getting on the expressway because it's right by each other. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Did you say that the what, that the map showed she'd been there 48 minutes? Her map showed that she was there for 15 minutes. For 15 therapy. minutes. Okay. All right. How long did it show she was at the hotel? About 48 minutes or so-ish. At the there. hotel. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't show, even though it may pick up the Wi-Fi, it's not going to show that you are stationary there for 48 minutes. It might even show for five minutes. <laughs> the case, every time you went by a Wi-Fi, it would show you were there for an hour or two hours. So what it does is it pings, but it keeps going if you don't stay. So why did it show you were there for almost, I, well, 48 minutes? I think it's a glitch. We was riding down the expressway together. It says that on his timeline, he was at the airport. When we was together, and I know he wasn't. So it does glitch. And we have <sighs> been together and shown you know, it does do that. So, Miss, uh, you know, that is possible. Glitches are possible. Did that happen with your phone? It showed uh, that, you at that, the airport? It did happen, and I, I agree that it does glitch up from time to time. Had it, had it, you know, had it just been her, but then when this other person comes to my house and I tell them what's going on, his wife is accusing him of the same thing at the same hotel. And so I get his phone, and, and there it is. He's there at the same hotel at the same time. It was, no, no. And so this is a friend of yours? It was not yours? the same time. They was. was different times. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up, because I want to be clear about this. You're saying that a gentleman friend of yours, mm -hmm. his wife is accusing him of cheating, mm -hmm. and it comes out that he was at the same hotel on the same day... Yep at the same time. Yes. And that's when you were like, hold up, were y'all two together? In yeah. your mind, they were together. Right. What are the chances that would happen is what you're thinking. My point is Beyond exactly. coincidence. Exactly. So, and Ms. Langford, you're saying it wasn't the same day? It wasn't, the timing wasn't the same. But it was the same day? Yes. But you're saying the timing didn't link up. Right. So couldn't that have been a glitch? I mean, you all could have and been there at the same time, but a glitch would make it look like you weren't there at the same time. Right, but I went to my appointment, my physical therapy, and I got a paper saying I was here at this time, and I have to be at that appointment for at least an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. So they wrote me this paper saying that I was there for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, but they can't give the time out because I only sign in. And you don't sign out. Right. And Mr. Samuels says that the data he saw on your phone shows that you were at physical therapy for 15 minutes. So you could have gone to physical therapy, signed in, they don't sign you out, and then you go to the hotel where the data in your phone also shows you were that's, for 48 minutes. That's what he says. Hold on. Us. Could it be a glitch? It could be a glitch. Anything's <laughs> possible. Okay. But a glitch with the, the very friend, I mean, he's got some concerns about who's there at the same time. Was he there for the same amount of time? Yep, same amount of time. And the thing is, with, with, the, with, that, with that timeline, you can edit the time that you are actually there because the second time I saw him and looked at his phone, his time has changed. So I thought I was wrong. Oh, okay. But you can actually edit your own time. I can say I was here from four to five instead of well, one to three. So your, but your, so your belief is it wasn't a glitch, it was actually... Not a glitch, it was actually 100% dead on the money. And, th and that this is maybe the man that she's having this affair with. I suspect. And Ms. Langford, is your testimony here today in this court that you 
are not cheating on Mr. Samuels? Yes, Your Honor. That's your testimony. That's my testimony. All right, love. Well, we got quite a bit of evidence here. We have the fact that uh, Mr. Samuels checked Miss Langford's GPS on the day she was late from PT, and it showed that she was at a hotel for 48 minutes and that a male friend who's also being accused on the same day was at the same hotel at the same time for the same amount of time. And the final thing is that he has concerns about her digital activity. Apps are missing. Apps aren't installed. Things are deleted. Secret messaging is going on. And he changes it and it comes back. And so for all of these reasons, Mr. Samuels believes that she's cheating. And he has testified that if she is, he's selling the house yeah. and moving on with his life. He is done. done. Because Mr. Samuels has so many concerns about Ms. Langford and her use of the phone and her cheating, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call a certified cyber forensics expert, Gus Dimitrellis, to determine, is she cheating? Uh, please escort Mr. Dimitrellis in. Yes. How are you, sir? Good morning, Your Honors. It's good to see you. You too. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. I conducted a full examination on Ms. Lankford's phone. The examination recovers all deleted and non-deleted artifacts, including internet history, pictures, videos, applications, and any text messaging. The task was to uncover any cheating that Ms. Lankford was responsible for. All right. You said deleted and undeleted. Yes, Your Honor, both of them. So even if someone tries to get rid of something, you can find it? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So did you find anything suspicious? I did. Okay. Tell us about that. Earlier, Ms. Lankford was explaining how the applications she offloaded were primarily games for her children. Yes. That was not entirely true. Hmm. There were two text messaging applications that she had subscriptions on, meaning username, password, the applications were installed on the phone, and then later deleted. Okay. In this case, the two that she used are very common throughout the world for communicating with other individuals via text, video, phone, mm -hmm. and sending pictures back and forth. Did you find anything else interesting in her phone? Yes, Your Honor. When speaking about deleted data, the internet history searches conducted by Ms. Lankford, all of them were deleted. Specifically, there was a search on internet where Ms. Langford was searching for lie detector tests. And more specifically, couples court lie detector. In my opinion, when uh, someone researches this area, no. they're looking to beat the system. All right, were you searching about lie detectors, Ms. Langford? No, I was not. He is on my phone more than I am. Mr. And Chad I hand my phone over to him anytime he asks. He can have my phone. He takes my phone for the whole day. I yeah. have nothing to hide, and he knows that. He can take anything he wants, anytime. I go nowhere. I have no friends. You know, I have, I've been in my house for over a year without a break with six, seven, ten kids a day. I don't go anywhere. Let me ask you, did you search for lie detectors I on did her? I not search for lie detectors from, from the couple's court on her phone. No, I did not. Did you, did you search for lie detectors at all on her I phone? I have not. Never searched for lie detectors. And speaking of lie detectors, this court will now call certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Lawrence in? Mr. Lawrence. Hello, good morning. Good day, sir. How are you? Just fine, sir. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. You performed a polygraph examination on Ms. Langford, correct? I did. Uh, you asked her a series of questions. I did. You asked Ms. Langford, during your relationship with Mr. Samuels, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Mr. Samuels? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being deceptive. I'm done. I told you. No, I'm done. That is a lie. That is a lie. Mr. Samuels, what's going through your mind right now? I knew in my heart I didn't even need that lie detector test. I see the tears in your eyes. It's okay. If there was ever a time to cry, this would be it, Mr. Samuels. I don't know. 
I think uh, I think maybe uh, maybe if we go get some counseling and things, you know, we might be able to work things out, you know. And you're willing to do that? Well, yeah. I mean, can't rip the kids house up, you know, and run their life. Because you have been so swallowed up by this, we want you to take the advice of a counselor so he can help you get back on the path so that you're whole. Because right now, you are in a thousand pieces. You can't be whole for her until you get yourself together. And... So go visit with Dr. Jeff, get some advice from him, get some tools from him so you can move forward, and then perhaps you all can move together successfully. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a happy, healthy, trust-filled relationship. Court is adjourned. Thank you.